Welcome to Instant Discussions, episode 20. Very special. Oh, man. 20 episodes. Can you believe it? Uh, I don't believe it. Uh, tonight, today, this morning, this afternoon. This afternoon. Whatever time it is when you're watching this. Yeah. Uh, we are discussing God Bless America. It's three in the morning. I don't know what he's saying. Patriotic movie from 2011, directed by Bobcat Goldthwait. He wrote it too, didn't he? Yes, written and directed okay. by Bobcat Goldthwait. I've never heard Goldway. of that man. A lot of people haven't, which is weird because everyone you has. Everyone's heard of him, but some people don't remember that they've heard of him uh, uh, or don't remember comedy in the <laughs> 80s, 90s. Um, and, What's uh, he known for? Uh, What's he known for? My name's John. I'm Stefan. I'm Tony. What's he known for? He's known for a comedian. He's, yeah, he's known a, for me. Oh, oh I, I just saw. I just he's saw. He's known for um, right, lighting voice. Jay Leno's couch on fire. <laughs> it's his on live television. He's known for his voice. I just saw Police Academy on his list. So yes, yeah, yeah, Police, yeah, Police Academy. Academy. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, no, but he really did. He lit Jay Leno's <laughs> couch on fire. I not know about that. He snuck in all his stuff in his pants. <laughs> Good man. He he's was. Uh, he's actually on a commercial that's running right now for as in Snickers, I think. Leno's uh, couch at home? No, no, on the show. On the show. On the show. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's had on live. <laughs> I wanted to make sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I didn't hear the live TV part. Either. All right. Yeah. Uh, he. Uh, yeah. He's on a recent. He's on a Snickers commercial right now at the very end. Mm. Uh, oh yeah. Rob yeah, Williams yeah. is on it because right. uh, he's friends with Rob Williams and that whole thing. Uh, but this one was that football one. Yeah, no, okay. football commercial. At the end is Bobcat, and he kind of does his Bobcat voice, which is the voice he used to do for stand-up. He doesn't really do anymore. Yeah. Although, when he gets excited, he kind of goes into that voice. Yeah. It's funny. Uh, this is a film you picked, Tony. Yeah, I picked it after watching um, the his other movie, World's Greatest Dad. Yes. Which I wanted to pick for next week, but it's off Netflix right oh, now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I thought Actually, that would be yeah, perfect for to, Father's Day. I went to go look, and it was off, so I yeah. chose this one. So it was just so, like, different and disturbing, and it's, like, it's really dark, but so funny. I was like, let me try this one. And it was amazing. Well, I so watched it because of World's Greatest Dad as well. I had watched mm-hmm. that on Netflix, but this was before this one was made. And mm-hmm. because I liked that one so much, when I heard Bobcat had a new movie coming out, he was doing a lot of publicity for it. Um, I went down to uh, the New Beverly Theater to see a screening of it, uh, and they had Q and A with Bobcat afterwards. So uh-huh. I'm gonna get to hear his talk about it. Uh, so you heard about this film through? You said you had watched parts of it before, or something? No. I thought I had heard about. You the thought film. you had a different. No. Thing. I thought we were talking about a different film. Oh, okay. So <laughs> that. With so you hadn't heard about this one before. No. No. Cool. And you hadn't seen it. No, I'd seen. He'd it. seen oh, it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. I saw it once, and uh, I'm happy to watch it again. Okay. Yeah, so I, just, I, I was just blind. rewatched it this time um, after having watched it in the theater, which was interesting because some of the times, like it was such a excited crowd, I'd missed a few of the lines. So uh-huh. you'd hear like after one line was said, then there's another thing that said that I, you know, now heard that. Yeah. But didn't miss too much really from that. Um, so I'm wondering what the the blind man in the yeah. What do you think starting out? It was weird. I just heard a bunch of gunshots and just some people talk, and it didn't really make sense because I was blind. Uh, All right, so uh, (laughs) he's yes ending us. Some good improv right there. It was good. Um, No and. It was good. (laughs) I I enjoyed the film. Yeah. um, I got a good sense of where it was going, but then, like, pretty, pretty right off. I mean, except for the whole violence thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah. It was just really like, how far was was he going to take it? Um, yeah, yeah. Because you know? it starts off with a, you get his fantasy sequence of shooting the baby, blood yeah. exploding everywhere. And dripping on down the mom's face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Carrie Stowe. But they take that back and then say, no, that's just a, a fantasy. Uh, so it's interesting then, everything that leads him to actually putting his fantasies into action. Babies. Well, and he was kind. Of, I mean, he was kind of like pushed into it. Yeah. Um, I mean, he really just wanted, you know, kill himself. He was. Just, yeah, he was just going to uh, kill himself. But which would have been a horrible ending. Yeah. After watching all of the terrible television, just having enough <laughs> of seeing how terrible people are, he just mm-hmm. figured, uh, let's take out this one person. All right, and then I can kill. Then I can. <laughs> I can sleep better. And I can kill myself. <laughs> um, but so all those 
parodies that they filmed. Like in mm. in making a film like this, where you're not just it's not just showing they didn't like license footage of actual TV shows, which they could have done because it's it's really tough to make. TV look more ridiculous than it is because it is so ridiculous. Oh. Like the stuff they were showing is pretty much how it's it pretty is. spot on. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. spot on. Like yeah. they were, I think uh, in the interview uh, in the Q and A afterwards, Bobcat was saying that that um, elephant fart ringtone is an actual thing. You can see it's, that? Yeah, yeah, and I know that <laughs> like the um, the tampon thing was based on another episode that ever that actually happened. Yeah, I'm just throwing tampons at another girl and stuff. But it all looked like legit. I mean, Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> Yeah. Bill O'Reilly on there. Yeah, it was a little uh, over dramatized the the uh, characters in the reality shows, but it was like still kind it's of realistic. -ish. Pretty much what's going on on there. So, but it, instead of just licensing uh, the actual footage, which they could have done, mm -hmm. although that might have cost them more, um, he goes out and shoots each of those shows. So mm -hmm. that's a lot of like added production in there that you just see as a channel flip. Yeah, that. yeah. Um, just kind of. Cool to see, but it makes sense because you first see them as him flipping through the channels and seeing the uh, guy singing on American Idol type show, Amer uh, American Superstar. Well, so right, like when he's going through the channels, one of the things that kind of stuck out was the uh, the bell tower shooter. Yeah, and that's when like when I first saw it, I was like, okay, this is where. Then boom, okay, this is something that I'm gonna have to remember at the end. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, it, the, the film kind of, it, it, it looks like it's taking you on the path of uh, these, all these people on TV are terrible, and people at society are terrible, and we should kill them. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not really. It, it also takes it on the other edge by showing that Bell Tower shooter thing is the way that going about killing everyone is not really a good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that doesn't really make society better. Yeah. Uh, One other thing I noticed the second time around was almost every shot had an American flag in it. Wow. I didn't notice that at first, and I was like, that. there's a cup, and there's just red, white, and blue everywhere. If you go and watch it, and you're like, there's a lot of American flags. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Um, so, and, and I really liked his character. The girl, uh, I was kind of like, whatever about, like, there was parts where she was, tr seemed like she was trying too hard for acting and stuff. I think it, it's tough because she is like, Rebellious of the people around her, but mm. uh, still is a teenage girl in the ways of like being over dramatic or uh, overly emotional, or, and not really understanding the repercussions of her actions. No, well, I, I mean, like sometimes she just spouts off dialogue, kind of like a Kevin Smith movie, which makes sense more in a Kevin Smith movie. But here she is, like all there's, of a sudden. There's a few of those like rants from from both of them. To, uh, when when Joel Murray goes on uh, some of those diatribes where he, he goes goes for a while and talks about this and that and it it, it starts to kind of like Kevin Smith dialogue going in with that but not having a back and forth with anyone yeah. it just keeps ranting and going on it's just yeah more of a monologue it goes yeah it's a monologue which it's kind of you don't know if the other person's really gonna let them keep talking like that without uh -huh. interrupting them yeah that's a so it's, it seems a little odd. Um, I don't. I, I think a lot of those things like that. It's not, you know, an absolutely perfect polished way of presenting each of these things. Um, it def, you feel that kind of independent spirit in that, mm -hmm. uh, but it definitely shows what it's trying to show. It it tells you its message, but also it doesn't really tell you the message of the. Uh, it it puts, paints them in such a good light. Paints the the heroes of this film like it's it's always with them uh them the two of them are generally in agreement with each other um yeah it probably should be off <laughs> <laughs> but it's i mean it's not that but right, <laughs> it's not that bad i'm just saying it just makes it more comfortable for us fine <laughs> i'm more comfortable now <laughs> sorry i think <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think that it still, it doesn't spell everything out for you, uh -huh. but it definitely spells out their side, the character's mm -hmm. viewpoint very clearly. Well, and I know I was connecting with him a lot, just everything he was saying. Just yeah. Like, 
You connect with those yeah, things, American yeah. Idol stuff, and then just like, who cares about any of that? Yeah, there's I, some some really good monologues at the beginning there. Yeah, yeah. From when when he says yeah. nobody's really like talking anymore, they're just regurgitating. Basically, I was like, oh god. Yeah, but whenever I, I go out anywhere, it's just like, oh, these people. Yeah, uh, but in in other ways too, it's generalizations about some of those things. He does go. Uh, he's a little too far into it, and that's what leads him to these killing things instead of finding other outlets for it. But uh, I, the the extremes it went into in the in his job in the in the first part and the sexual harassment. Oh yeah, yeah. just went together. You know, sent well, flowers, <laughs> like. The, the way you have to be so careful in society as to not even yeah. just trying to be a human being to someone else and they take that as threatened. But I mean, but it's, yeah, it's that, funny where, where they make such a huge deal about... multiple times. You don't know what? Well, like, like, I'll try to do something nice to someone and they'll just be like, they just take it the wrong way. Oh, yeah. yeah. so hard. Yeah. Take it so hard the wrong way and I was just like, I was just trying to be nice. <laughs> Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, it's chill. And then I never talk to them again. Wow. Because they don't Sad. They just don't want to deal with me. Anymore. It's so sad. Yeah. It's a sad story. No, it's just you can't be nice to strangers. That's really what it is. You can't be like over nice to strangers. They don't understand uh, your intentions. Yeah, they think you're gonna try to like tie them up and put them in your basement or something. <laughs> I, I didn't even try to get them in my. Car. Did you do it with that beard though? If, you, if somebody did that with the beard. Uh, it didn't matter. The beard actually makes no difference. What? I know, oh, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, I, I've, so I've, actually, uh, I've actually had had better luck. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Since, they're just scared. Since beard. Since beard? Just since beard. <laughs> yeah, I think it might, it might just make me look more like more hippie and stuff. I don't know, like, if that, if that has... I think it depends on the person you're going to Yeah, you look a little more aggressive. Uh, but I, I think... Never, like... No, I think most people... Yeah, it's, it makes you feel more relaxed. Yeah. Oh, so going back. So, so his first kill. I really liked it. It showed, it showed that, like, he really didn't know what he was doing. He yeah, goes, he's, he's, he's like the, trying to be badass. Be very, yeah, the awesome explosion of the car. It's gonna be great. <laughs> that was so cool. Yeah, that was so good. And he just so. runs. And he's like, ah, and he's a. I haven't. I haven't seen him in anything that I'm aware of. He's a really good actor. I've seen his brother in a few things. One or two things. Wait, is that? No, Joel Murray. That's not. Like Joel Murray. Wait, wait till I loads. He, he, I know he's related to him. I do believe it's his brother. Uh, hold on. Uh, he is the brother of actors Bill Murray. Yeah. Brian Dole Murray. What? And John Murray. Yep. Are you serious? Yep. That's so weird. Uh, let's see, go, starting with the most recent other things he's been. Oh, Monsters University. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. The artist. Oh, yeah, he was in the artist. He was the police officer at the fire. I remember that one. Uh, Catch it, too. <laughs> Dude, he does not stop working. Yeah. Oh, Mad Men, that's what I kept remembering him from, too. Yeah. Drew Carey. Mm -hmm. Knock in the middle. Yeah. yeah. So Cable Guy. Him. He was a basketball player in Cable Guy. <laughs> Beethoven. <laughs> he was the voice of Beethoven? <laughs> in, the in the TV series. Oh. In the TV series, not the movie. Come on now. Hmm. Come on. I really enjoyed his performance, though, in this. Yeah, I think he did a good job. A lot. I, didn't really a like I just felt bad for him the whole time with his little bratty daughter. Yeah, well, that was the thing that, like, really, really leading him to the first kill yeah. was not only seeing the not yeah his fan the, like the daughter being, video, but like, yeah, the showing how the daughter is becoming yeah. the same. He's seeing and, the same flaws in society in his daughter and yeah. the, and his brain, and he can't really do yeah. anything about it. Cancer and the fact that he thinks he's dying. Yeah, and the doctor was <laughs> such a douchebag. Yeah, everyone has to be every yeah. every character that you can't have. <laughs> Like, any of the people around him be good uh -huh. people. They always have to have something. The only good person to... was the, the cop. The boy, yeah, the, the boyfriend boy. was yeah. pretty good. Like, <laughs> we didn't really say anything wrong with him. Uh, and, the, and the girl in the movie theater. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The girl in the movie theater that didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. well, she, sh she should have made and, her And there was a, the, guy, the guy with the phone was Artie. Huh? Artie from uh, Pete and Pete's Adventure, Nickelodeon. Oh, okay, I didn't recognize him. I recognized uh, Frank Lundy from, the, uh, from Dexter. He was uh, his boss. Oh yeah, at the beginning. Yeah, and uh, Steve Ag is a PA at the uh, studio at the end. He gets shot. Um, oh, Steve Ag from uh, Sarasman program. A few other things. Huh. I don't recognize. Yeah. There are a few. There are quite a few people in there. Uh, Larry Miller is the father of the brat. The yeah, teenage girl. yeah, that was the one. He's the one yeah. I recognize. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't actually recognize Larry Miller. Yeah. So at the. He's Larry um, 
One of my favorite scenes mm-hmm. was when they shoot the like Son Westboro Baptist, Baptist Church. I just that was just like so like oh I would yeah, love to see that in real it. life. And then he just then he runs over the final person. <laughs> yeah. Like, wouldn't that be just... And then throws him down a cliff and has him roll down, <laughs> yeah. like, alive down this like, cliff. I don't want to sound like a horrible person, but I would... And, and a lot of people in America would jump for joy if that were to really happen to the Westboro Baptist Church, why they were protesting. They're a pretty terrible group of people. Yes. If that were to happen, personally, I would have... <laughs> I wouldn't do it, but I'd applaud it. Yeah, it's... it's Cause the, and a ruckus to cause a ruckus. Yeah. It, <laughs> it's the thing of... They, they, these people... They're mean people, uh, as you were saying. Like, uh, and part of with the parents of the, the teenage girl, uh, we didn't really get to know a lot of the justifications for why they should be killed in... Uh, yeah, yeah, the parents of the brat club. Yeah, or whatever in, her name in, was in Frank's mind, because Ro- it was Roxy's idea to kill them. Yeah. Um, and he went along with that, and, they, and yeah, they're yeah, enabling they, her. It was like split decision yeah. thing. That. So they, they're enabling her, which is bad, but most of the people just going after is because they're mean, because they're mean to other people in that way, and you, you didn't really see it from them. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was kind of a shame that they didn't really get... If we had more justification for why they were killed, uh, but it does work that it's Roxy's idea, not not Frank's idea, mm-hmm. because he wouldn't have gone with them on his own. Uh, but the people making fun of the William Hung character, oh uh, yeah, the singer from American Superstar, uh, <laughs> all those people, he wanted to get them because it just everyone's everyone's being mean to him. Especially the guy at the Beamer took up two two spots. <laughs> oh, that bastard! <laughs> Video. Uh, yeah, the and guy. then you know what I really like too. I liked how the whole scene when they're at the thrift store, like he, like I've never even really thought of that. Like even tell, say, t- saying if a little girl is pretty or not, in that itself you're objectifying that it's, child. Like I, I don't know. It's the way she was asking, the way he's inferring from the way um, she's asking. Um, I do like his line about he's not going to be responsible for the self esteem of mm-hmm. a teenage girl. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's just, like, pushing him and pushing him. Yeah. Uh, and apparently, she wanted to have sex with him. Yeah. She's yeah. like, is this going to be platonic? Platonic? That's the yeah. name. Yeah. Um, yeah, she had fantasies of that. And she thought of herself as older person. And, and, and seems mature. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't want to be blinking. Uh, but yeah, Someone's he's about to get shot. He doesn't want to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <going off. laughs> I, w- I really like to see that that scene of the shooting in the theater before shows, in, before movies. Uh, it's a little long. Kind of need to edit it down. But wait, wait, when he's shooting what? the people in, in the theater, uh-huh. I like to show that before movies for. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, you could do it at. Uh, yeah, I could do it at Rocky. Uh, but just to see that in theaters, of, uh-huh. if you, it, it doesn't work in Rocky as much because we want people to talk. But yeah. in other movies, uh, every, part, every part of that that was like, just everything of the movie was awesome. I like how, so we did that shooting, and then they're trying to blame it on the violence of this yes. documentary. And I was like, yeah, that is that is so how it is. Like, and it's just bullshit. Every yeah. everything along the way when he was he was shooting these people, like uh-huh. it's just, Roxy explained to him, like if he had just killed that one girl it sounds like he's just in love with her and yeah that's why he killed her uh they find other reasons for each of these murders so they say they blame the violent movie in the in the film uh when they shoot the bill o'reilly guy they they say oh it's oh. It, because of the people who uh, disagree with his yeah, politics the, 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 the liberal terrorist he's group, a moral or, terrorists uh, yeah uh, but he's such a badass he doesn't even care though he's like so like he's dead now like, yeah, he's happy that he's, he's yeah, dead. Yeah, but that's but what I like. And it's he, still he still doesn't doesn't like when they when they show the movie one. He still doesn't like that they're going after the wrong thing. They're 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 not understanding that they're dead because they're mean and they're rude. Mm-hmm. Like they're just not nice people. Yeah. Um, and so the bro- the problems in society that he sees aren't getting faced, aren't getting addressed, and the, the wrong issues are getting addressed. Mm-hmm. One man takes up a gun to fix life's <laughs> society's problems. So people could be nicer. Hey, he's kind of like a Darth Vader. Nope. Nope. If nope. I were to compare him to any <laughs> other movie character, I'd bring up the movie Boondock Saints. Oh, uh, yeah. No, but, but the whole reason that, that Anakin wanted to take over the world was to make it a better place for everybody. No. Nope. Yeah, he did. No. Nope. I guarantee the reason that Anakin did that Let's was to, to make the universe a anger. better place. Hitler wanted to make the world better. Yeah, yeah, he did too. Okay. But it's okay. 
if you go to making the world a better place, that's pretty much <laughs> Obama. Everyone. They Obama, want to make a better place for supposedly. them. Um, uh, I, maybe not Tony, actually. Um, no, not Tony. But, John, <laughs> <laughs> but he just doesn't want people to be mean. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Mm. But he's also flawed in that he's he's wrong because he's still killing, killing these people. <laughs> that. like, that's, not, yeah. that's not helping. Um, but we don't really want guys, you know, at funerals with God hates things. No. He just wants to stop them another so way. He's kind of a hero. <laughs> Yeah, I, <laughs> depends. <laughs> it's that fantasy thing. It's like yeah, you like that well, too, but you're a better person, so you're not going to do that. Well, it's really it's, like what gives someone the right to kill somebody. Yeah, and it's it's, them too. it's the it's the catch twenty two of you don't want these bad people in the world, but then by you getting rid of them, you yeah. then become a bad person in the world. Um, well, I mean, it just depends what society you're from, though. I mean, well, they kind of he they do the. Uh, uh, can't remember the exact li- uh, literary term for it, but uh, the death by cop, suicide by cop. Yes, thing. Mm-hmm. that's what he how he goes out in the end. They, uh, he knows he's surrounded by guns. He's going to take out as many people as he can, knowing yeah. that he'll get taken out uh, because he he wants to die. His his plan from the beginning was yeah. for him to die, and then it was okay. I'll kill this one person, then I'll die. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe kill some more people. He knows he's eventually going to die from the the tumor, which he doesn't actually have. Yeah. But now he's killed so many people, he can't go back to a normal life anymore. Yeah. He has to he has to go out. Well, he was they were thinking about moving to France. Yeah, and he just flipped out. He, yeah. Oh, that's the other thing that kind of confused me. Like, once you find out that she came from a really nice background, you're kind of like, uh, because yeah, those parents were really... And she was saying, like, do they, take, you know, they tell me what to do all the time. It's like, you're a teenage <laughs> yeah. girl. You just... And, she, and, and then she uses, like, the little kid hyperbole, I'm a million times smarter than them. And I was like, oh, yeah. now you just so turned into some You see brat. the flaws yeah. in her character. She's, she's against the other people that are around her because she sees that they're spoiled brats. But mm-hmm. she doesn't appreciate her standing in life, and she still feels like she's oppressed, and she thinks that everything that's going on in her life is so terrible, mm-hmm. when in reality it's not. Like, the, the lies that she says, that she's, uh, you know, her uh, neglecting mom and being raped by uh, every night. By yeah. Every like, that's, that would be terrible if he, she was in that, <laughs> but she's not. Yeah. Like, the fact, so that she says that about her, her life, like, yeah, she has a good life. Mm-hmm. She just doesn't appreciate it, and she's messed up. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas he lost his job for a stupid reason. He's lost uh, everything. He doesn't have his family. His daughter doesn't want anything to do with him. He has, he has nothing going on in his life, so he just wants to get out of it. Uh-huh. Uh, doesn't want to go on anymore with it, and then he goes on, on his craziness. But she has stuff that she could have gone back to. Yeah. And she could still claim that she's, you know, Patty Harrison being... You know, brainwashed into mm-hmm. into all of that, yeah. So, yeah, especially with him dead, that'd be easier. There was a lot of carelessness, though. Like for every murder they did, yeah, like they, just all over the place. As, you know, as the they ones. got they got seen in the movie theater like, from step one. Like, yeah, yeah, that person with so many witnesses. Around. There's four witnesses right there that just saw you try and <laughs> shoot this girl in their car yeah. and then run to a yellow, a bright yellow sports he, car. Yeah. He stole the car in the first place. Like, yeah. Ben's already going to have him tracked down. I'm surprised when they pulled him over, or when he was uh, sleeping, and they, they came up to him. They didn't notice it there. Like, it's apparently no report going out for this missing car. Yeah. Maybe he was stolen in the first place. About a drug money or something. I don't know. Maybe there's something um, going on with why that wasn't reported. Yeah, so that, that, that cop pullover, or like him, that cop showing up was like a, kind of like, uh, really? Yeah. And then on top of it, his w- ex-wife, I guess, Boyfriend, yes, yeah. cop, like not like. It's maybe it's that thing of they don't think any about news it because they know him and they they don't think of him as they they think of him as such a simple guy. Yeah, they're not. They don't even think to check. Uh, but they wouldn't have seen that news report obviously because they would have recognized him from that news report. Yeah, uh, he was very fortunate. I guess we could in say like that. so many ways. He's extremely, extremely fortunate in all the in every step along the way that he hadn't gotten. They, they caught. didn't like fingerprint anything no. at any of the scenes of the crime. Well, I guess a lot of them they thought they just instantly assumed 
then it was other things. They didn't they didn't connect any of the killings. Like, like I had to really just like dis like after a, a couple huge, of them, I just dismissed this thing yeah, completely. It's a huge that they were even going movies. after him, and it's like yeah. okay. Just let this go. You'll enjoy the film. Yeah, better. it's a fictitious world. They're they're bringing this up. It's a fun world. Yeah. It's it's just it's pure fantasy thing that in, in, in him. I understand him. that. Yeah, like it could still be, but like even in fantasy though, like you can't just have Deus Ex Machina come in all the time and save the day and have the movie you know not feel well, just, like cheating. He doesn't. They catch him at the end. They they get him at the right point, but it's not complete cheating because they're in these small towns along the road along the way for both of the murders and he's with driving far between enough of them they open fire in a public park yeah and then they stay there and shoot some more but I guess the people around them <laughs> saw that they were yeah. killing the Westboro Baptist people so they're like I don't know who did it Bill O'Reilly and yeah. they shoot a couple times and then they maybe talk to him for like two minutes yeah, yeah. maybe it was well, a huge I mean, park but the if, other you, if you're at the around. park and you hear shots you're not gonna run toward it though I don't think yeah maybe the people were freaked out they ran away from it Maybe. Yeah. I guess it I, It all depends no, on the people no, no, no. who are around at the time. And if the right people are around or the wrong people that are around. I just realized this this is the release date in Toronto is September eleventh, two thousand eleven. Interesting. Oh that's weird. Hmm. Always remember <laughs> that bumper sticker, right? Yes. Yeah. No, wow, look at the box office numbers. I don't think it actually officially released. Um, it had the, the, a few screenings over, they, they like two word screenings. That's yeah. Um, so yeah, it made $231,000. Um, I wonder how much it cost to make though. It doesn't want you to know. No, it doesn't want you to Maybe know. Maybe it's zero. This seems like one of those movies where it, they could do it for cheap and you know, people get their friends together and... Yeah. Because I know Bobcat, he likes to do, he has like the indie type. Now he's doing show, especially right? even more, uh... Cheap films. Um, he he just finished one recently that was showing. Uh, I think about Bigfoot, something like that. Let me see. Films, films. Willow Creek just premiered at the twenty thirteen Independent Film Festival in Boston. Doesn't say anything about it. Let's click on it. Let's see. Willow Creek, found footage film uh, about. The couple interested in Bigfoot lore. Hmm. I've it, heard interesting things about it. And is it a horror movie? I don't know. Or is it a found footage comedy? I don't it's know. It's more. Hmm. I'm sure it's got the Lock same amount more. of comedy in it that his other films have. Um, yeah. Hmm. I think it, I'm sure it would have like the same amount of comedy that this one did. Um, I don't know. We'll find more about that later. Hopefully it goes on to instant watch at some point. Because his last one, I mean, World's Greatest Dad was at one point. Yeah, that was for a while. Not. I don't know if Sleeping Dogs Lie ever was. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, the ending was like really, really cool. I thought. Yeah. It was a sweet ending. And then I, I like loved that he totally got like that kid, the singer kid, and was just yeah. like, uh, no, you're wrong. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know, that was kind of like, oh. Well, he, the whole, his, he kept being motivated by this poor kid, this yeah. poor kid. And then at the end of it, the kid's just as fame hungry as everyone douche. else. Yeah. 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 So. So good. Yeah, I, I, I love that. Because he can't, you, if he had been right about that, that gives him more. Uh, credit to uh, or to his uh, killing and puts him more as a hero. So you have to yeah, you, you have to show that he's wrong. It needed, yeah, it needed to be no. This is not the thing you do. Yeah, you do not just go around murdering people <laughs> because they're wrong. Uh, but this could easily be one of those films that you that uh, the wrong people, the people that this film is making fun of, can watch this and say, "Yeah, we should go out and kill all these people." Yes, you're like, no. I was thinking the same. You're exactly. just like the kids like that girl. Like, uh, the film Spring, uh, Spring Breakers had come out recently, and it, it shows, uh, you know, these people partying on spring break and going crazy. And it, the film kind of walks at the same thin line where it, it shows these people being crazy on spring break, but it is a commentary about it, and, and you know, it's against that. Mm -hmm. 
but it does show it in a way that a lot of kids watch it and think it's glorifying it. Mm-hmm. And this kind of shows the same thing, where it's it it's speaking out against both sides. It's speaking out against the stupid, annoying people, uh, and the people who are fame hungry, and people who are uh, obsessed with the wrong things and, and, and uh, mean, mean people. So it's that, and then on the other side of uh, people taking violent action against that. Uh-huh. Um, like with the clock tower <coughs> shooter, things like that. Um, so it's pointing out the flaws in, in both sides, but people could easily look at it the wrong way. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Bobcat. You knew Bobcat Little Bay was. I knew who it was, yeah. 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 He's, he's that funny. name that I always mention his name to people. And then, who? That's just weird. I don't, people I don't know. understand. There's a great episode of The Simpsons uh, with Jay Leno and uh, a bunch of other 90s comedians. Uh-huh. Um, it's where Krusty's uh, returning to stand-up after his show gets canceled or something. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, Bobcat's on there. Mm-hmm. Is he? Yep. Which one is he? He's Bobcat. He plays Bobcat Goldfly. <laughs> plays himself. Cause like, yeah, Stephen right, Wright, Janine right. Garofalo, Jay Leno. Oh, maybe I'm... Oh, Bobcat. that one. Yeah. Sorry. And even in that one, I was thinking of a different episode, but even in that episode that you're talking about, it's they the make same. a joke that it's his, like, ninth comeback. Uh, it's the... Because yeah. they've done it so much. It's the, it's the, it's the Silverado one. one. I was Silver, thinking of a different Silverado one. Silverado commercial oh. where he gets... It sells <laughs> out. Silverado... Uh, Canyon Arrow. Canyon Arrow. Oh, Canyon Arrow. So that was the actual one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get these. No, Canyon make it funny? Arrow. That's more funny. Yes. Copy, bro. Uh, so. Ah, uh, so. What did you rate as a movie? Five. I thought it was a great movie. Yeah. I know that there's parts, you know, that were silly. But, I, you know, I, like you were saying, you remove that from your mind that this could never really happen as far as, okay. you know, the cops yeah. not doing this or whatever, you know, their little mistakes. So when you take that out of the equation, I, five, I loved it. I was like, oh, yeah, Westboro Baptist Church. <laughs> that might also be uh, all those mistakes. It might not be mistakes, too. Ah, it yeah. might be a commentary on society as a whole. Yeah. Have- no, well, that's the other thing, that actually, like, when they, you know, that they're yeah. not noticing this because they're thinking... Yeah, the cops are too preoccupied with other things and thinking, looking in the wrong places, mm-hmm. um, automatically looking for terrorists or anything else. Yeah, but it's not thinking trying to about. blame the wrong people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I kind of take those those flaws in there, but most of the, the flaws that I see, sad, are uh, <laughs> uh, sad that that's an inside joke. That should yeah. be a public joke. Everyone uh-huh. should know that. So we'll we'll fight. We'll we'll make that. Anyway, anyway, anyway. all right. Uh, <laughs> uh, I the the things that I, I that I had the issues with were um, some of those long speeches. They mm-hmm. kind of go on the way they were delivered. I, I think could have been done a little better. Um, yeah. But uh, I do see that as you know it's independent filmmaking thing. And he, yeah. I think he did a good job, but mostly because I've seen um, the, his other film the. World's Greatest Dad. Mm-hmm. Um, I kind of put it a little below that because I, I love that one so much, uh, and I really wish I could have. I really wanted to recommend that for <laughs> next week, but if you haven't seen it, I say. Uh, it, yeah, it was on Netflix. I do remember. Yeah, that. yeah. Go uh, if you have the DVDs from Netflix. Get World's Greatest Dad. Watch it for Father's Day um, because that one's great. But I, I, I give this one a four star. Four stars, which I believe is what it suggested for me at mm. four stars. Pretty solid. Mm-hmm. How about you? Yeah, I'd probably say the same. Um, four stars, because I, it didn't really like make me... For a comedy, it didn't make me like... Yeah. I think some of that... like I, I, I loved it a lot more in the theater, because yeah. uh, you get that communal response with mm-hmm. it. There's a lot of high energy and Bobcat sitting right over there, so you have to like it. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. No. You could just stand up and shoot him. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's probably on his phone in the movie anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it didn't make me like, but it was really, really enjoyable, and I did like a lot of like the whole morality issues, you know, that they're bringing up and everything. And, yeah, you know, it's, yeah, it's a good message. It, it, yeah, it made me it think a lot while I was watching it. Yeah. I, it. It's one of the you know I don't, usually don't do that, but I kept on thinking, you know, looking at things in a different light, you know, looking at it through his eyes, and I was like, oh, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Also, I liked that at the beginning. He, you look at his stuff. He's you know he was like 
in the war or something. It makes me wonder what yeah. his yeah. was. He had that past, and he was talking about sticking up for freedom of speech. And he was like, it's... He, the people who are saying the edgy stuff and that... Oh, thing, yeah, I was like... But, <laughs> which I, I get upset with listening to some of the talk radio when they... They say like they're open for anyone can call up and disagree with them, but the way they shoot people down is like, no, you're an idiot, and then yeah. they hang up on them, and it's like you're not you're not allowing them to speak. You're yeah. saying you're gonna take anyone talking, but you're not. Uh, yeah, he he's the, he stands up for them. He fought for them, and he'll he'll defend them, but he just doesn't like that they're so mean when they do it. Uh, the a lot of these there's a lot of sound clips from this movie that they use on the Kevin and Bean podcast. Uh, oh the transition yeah. between clips, and I hear them all the time. <laughs> and I had forgotten that they were from this. So yeah. when I hear them again, I'm like, oh, that's that's from this. Especially yeah. about the you know why maybe they're not eating. PC, bro. <laughs> like, a lot of that stuff. The stuff that's insulting to that would be insulting to Kevin and Bean. They play those. Yeah. Uh, like I like. The, I know they the like the movie song. though. Yeah. Yeah, they really yeah, they, it. they enjoyed it. Um, they had Bobcat on there too, talking about it. Yeah. He's doing a lot of tours. He's a good guy. I like Bobcat. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to see more stuff from him. He's making a comeback. Stand up comeback. Number nine. Oh, yeah. He's doing, he's, he's actually doing his stand up now too. I he doesn't do the that. voice, though, I heard. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> we said that. He's doing that for YouTube or something. Or? Huh? No. YouTube? Mm. No. No. I don't think. Huh? No. Just no. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know how big this guy is. Like, <laughs> he was huge. He was like one of the <laughs> biggest comedians. Well, it's not like we're talking about like a Steven Spielberg here. Ah, <laughs> uh, back in the Bobcat. 80s, they may have been. It's Bobcat. Bobcat. We gotta educate you on Bobcat. Uh, you right. Like, I only know, I only really know him from the. Like, like, I mean. Granted, like Steven Spielberg is like a much like bigger example than I probably should have said. But like, we're not talking like Darren Aronofsky. No, I mean you know, he's more like like Janine Garofalo, like yeah. Stephen Wright, like Jay Leno, like. Well, Jay Leno's huge now. I was going to say Jay Leno. But, yeah. But back then, good. Janine Garofalo, they were at the same level. Like, he he and uh, he and Robin Williams did stand-up together and okay. have worked together a long time. All that stuff. It's Robin Williams is more famous than him, but Bobcat. Bobcat's Bobcat Goldthwait. He's a character. He's a, yeah. like, classic icon. Uh, his, like, just, it's because of that voice and it's, it makes him him. It's, Bob, it's Bobcat. This is weird. People don't know about Cat. Oh, he looks... What the heck? He looks weird in his picture there. That doesn't... I, I chose to dress like him today. I got the glasses and the hat. Like him. That's a horrible picture. Of him. <laughs> yes. All right. Anything more about uh, this one? No? Yeah. I just... I, yeah. I try, I try to... Sense. Um, it says in this one that uh, he met uh, actor Tom Kenny in uh, grammar school. Uh, who did a lot, a lot of the voiceovers for this movie. Oh. Um, yeah, a lot of those announcer voices you heard was Tom Kenny voice of SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah, yeah I, I always try to recommend this movie to people, especially if they have Netflix. Yeah. I'm always like, this is something totally different that you're not used to. I, that's how I feel in that. I think it's, people really enjoy it. Hmm. It's obvious for me, like I had, because I had heard about it uh, so much through the things I listened to, they had talked about it, but it's not really a wide... It, it never got released in a wide release in theaters. No. Um, so it's it's one of those films that yeah it's, it it exists on Netflix and it's you know you could buy the DVD of it but you don't really want to go out and buy or rent the DVD of it and you mm -hmm. don't know I think it definitely is one of those gems for being an independent film yeah like uh, it was really really it was really good for being you know independent film because mm -hmm. normally you find more crap but. it's a good hidden gem on Netflix that yeah. that you can find that wouldn't be like instead of looking for. Uh, Thor or any of the movies, the big yeah. blockbuster movies that they have on Netflix, which is nice that they have those. Yeah. This is one of those gems. Yeah, this was much better than Iron Man 3. I hate the movie. I hated Iron Man 3. Another episode? Another episode. Um, Talk about one I've, of seen, that. I've seen that too, actually, Iron now. Man I finally seen it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, John. Yep. All right. Uh, I still can't decide on next week. Uh, I had three. Are we going to get another from... choice? Uh, yeah, we're going to get another choice. Oh. I had three to choose from this time, but the one that was for Father's Day again, most mm. greatest dad, not on the table anymore. Can't pick that one. Um, so let me figure this out. Mm, I hope it's do... something with a lot more gay men having sex. And cocks. Cause... And cocks. I don't know yeah. if there's another movie that has that, that close. Much cocks. Oh, um, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And butthole. All right, yeah. the two films I have <laughs> to choose from for you guys uh, are forty years apart from when they were made. Uh, so there's one. It's from 1951. 
Sounds horrible and already. one that's from 1991. Sounds even worse. Any preference? That's all we get? That's all you get. Uh, anything uh, else? Uh, both of them. 90? Both of them are from uh, creative teams that are very well known, very popular. Um, hmm. I think one of the films is much more widely known than the other, and there's a good chance that I'm sure you both have a good chance of having seen at least one of them, if not both of them, before. But that I'm doesn't help any that. with the decision, though. No, it doesn't. So 1951 and <laughs> 1990. I, well, I kind of chose last time, so. So film A or film B? Old film? <laughs> Still old film. So what do you think? I think it's 91. How long ago was that from? It's like from today? Yeah, it was 22 years ago. Yeah. 20. So that's old. That is old. Just like a 22. But it still seems like a like new us. film. I don't know why. I was 11. 1991. So this I film doesn't seem old. Like when I was watching it. So I was 11 it, when it, it came out. Crazy. Don't you think what good movies came out when I was 11? Yeah. Yeah. I have no clue. I just used to get Victoria Mag. Do you think 51, do you think 51 stands up to the test of time? Uh, I just started rewatching it today. Mm -hmm. So, and I only got about uh, 10 minutes into it before I just I had to set up some stuff. Uh, so I couldn't do it, but uh, it definitely. I think the fifty one does have a lot of stuff that we can discuss about, and it's also going to lead to some other discussions. I'm going to pick both of these films eventually. One of them is going to be this week. One of them is going to be next week. Okay. Is is there so, one that's more at risk of being? I think off Netflix. Maybe the fifty one one. The ninety one. I'm, I'm, going, I'm logically th thinking the ninety one one has been on since Netflix instant started, and I haven't seen it drop off yet. Um, so all right, let's go fifty one then. Can you go fifty one? Yeah, it's a gym. All right, let's see if you can guess the film. It's 1951. All right, it's based on two books. All right, stop me when you can guess this. Lord of the Rings. Oh. It is animated. Lord of the Rings. Animated Lord of the Rings. It's animated and it's based on two books. Uh -huh. I have a favorite quote from that. It's from animated. one of the most famous animation studios there is. Uh, oh, okay. Hold on. No, I, I'm not like. Steve really Willie. It's not a feature. This is a feature length film. Oh, Actually, okay. it's, yeah, it's it's a little shorter. It's like an hour. It was fairly mainstream for the time. Tell. No, 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 we're not. All right. At least this one is. Doesn't matter. It's weird that one shut off. That's stupid. Down by the riverside. <laughs> um. Uh. Let's see. Lay down. They were, it was recently remade, uh, sign, kind of remade by Tim Burton. Frankenweenie? Frankenstein? <laughs> Is it Frankenstein? The animated Frankenstein? Yeah. Uh, it has some music in it. Uh, it actually has three different main directors and a I don't know the different directors. Four rooms. Oh, I don't know. If, I don't know Tim Burton well enough to like really have that be helpful. What? Like, oh, I'm Edward not. Scissorhands. They redid that one. Uh huh. Based off the novels of Lewis Carroll. Um. Oh crap! What has he done? Is those Narnia movies? <laughs> Is that, oh. That's why we don't play these games anymore. Um, yeah. That's uh, <laughs> why we don't play these games anymore. Like name a movie. I I don't know movies. The holiday one. What? The holiday movie. <laughs> the holiday movie? It's called The Holiday Movie. Human Centipede. Oh, wait. Lewis Carroll? You don't know? Human Centipede? Lu anything. <laughs> Lewis Carroll. <laughs> Didn't he do the, whole, the Christmas movie? <laughs> oh, my God. It's a famous writer. Lewis Carroll? Yeah. Oh, Alice in Wonderland? Yes! <laughs> All right, we'll be discussing. With the cartoons on there? Yes! Yeah. Oh, dude, I've watched they this. They actually took off the new one. They used to have the new one on there. I've literally watched this probably 50 times in my life. Right? I'm sure I've, I can't I can't count the number of times I've seen it, but I haven't seen it too much recently. Uh -huh. um, have you seen the original 1951 Alice in Wonderland? I don't know, but I don't remember a lot of when I was young. So. Right. Well, <laughs> judging by your past really of, of your, of your uh, parents not showing you classic movies... You probably didn't see this. It's not a country. Yeah, movie. yeah, I hadn't seen Star Wars, the original. <laughs> like I saw the, the I saw um, one, two, and three before five, six, and seven. Yeah, it's really weird. Or whatever. It's wrong. That is the four, wrong. Five, six. No, actually, maybe the right way. Now that's because wrong. then you're like, oh, this is bullshit. Oh yeah, because then you get yeah. the other ones. You're like, yes. Yeah. Well, uh, like 
Yeah, my expectation. Yeah, that's that cool about like, one, two, three, and then after, then you watch three, four, five. One, two, three. I was just like kind of mad, but yeah. then like four, five, and six. Did you enjoy those more? Were more interesting. Huh. Interesting. Um, but I could definitely tell that they were older films because. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, they just weren't like trying to jam action down my throat. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, which I definitely got the sense of. Uh, there was that, that one fight scene, and I think it was number two or three. I think it was three, the end of three. Like, that fight scene was freaking cool. There were some cool fight scenes in all, in all the first three. I love the, uh, the and, dual lightsaber fight. And, and um, the that freaking robot beforehand, I can't remember his name. The C3? Oh, yeah. G G General Grievous? Yeah, General yeah, Grievous. Yeah, Grievous was cool. Was so the Yoda cool. fight scene with Dooku was oh, around. That was cool. That was yeah. cool. Um, then there's the, the Anakin Skywalker and Ben, uh, ben Kenobi fight in the uh, lava. Mm -hmm. That one was a cool battle. Yeah, yeah. And I the, like Darth Maul. The Darth yeah, the Darth Maul, Maul fight. That was classic. So there were great stuff in there. It's just the stupid whiny little kid. Yeah. Uh, it's like, really Anakin, like, all of the actors portraying him. Yeah. His, but then there's like, uh, a lot of that. It's horrible. Because some of the Padre stuff was fun too. Yeah, yeah that's a, it's a little upsetting, but... I don't like the Midichlorian yeah. thing. Uh, but those, but it had some. There were some great stuff in those films. So you yeah. can't completely write off those movies. It's terrible. So next week, Alice in Wonderland, nineteen fifty-one. Yeah, uh, we're going to discuss that. We're going to discuss uh, things involving with the writings of Lewis Carroll as seen through that. Mm. Um, and uh, we'll also One discuss say through the some Disney stuff as well. Looking the last. As ah! you look, you look at the thing that's off, he's like. Yeah, yeah, it's already off. It would have been really cool if we <laughs> looked into it at that right moment. All right, thank you all for uh, watching and continuing to watch through the lack of video at the end, as ha happens yeah. so often. It's um, a shame because like, all our see. views come from our faces. Yeah. You know? Yeah, people just love our faces. All right. <laughs> like the beard. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we're pass not, us along to your friends in uh, other countries. Sexy females. Dude, oh, people in Canada did watch our uh, episode. Our they oh, no, it's really watch Yes. Yeah. Yeah, what? it's fun to watch which videos so they weird. watch in different countries, but That's they watch awesome. that one. Yep. All right. Thank That's you. pretty cool. Bye.